Hello everybody, I hope you're well today and today I want to talk about the damaging effect of suppressing your emotions. So we are humans and we have a system of energy and emotional flow and like thoughts and when we create a block and suppress it creates a stagnation and an interference and a blockage. So when we are honest and truthful and share um, appropriately to the right people, but with people who are close to us, for example, or just even in general, like it's good to have a general expression of truthfulness in general. But when it comes to people who are like we're in a relationship or like family, or, like someone really close to us who's like deep in our life, or even just someone who has a, 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 a big enough importance to us, like a family member, if we are afraid to be honest and to express our truth, that's like not good. That's like being afraid, like being weak. It's like playing small. It's lying. It's being sort of deceitful to ourselves about what are what's really important and true to us, and not trying to like please them almost. It's like being a, 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 a sort of a weird, afraid, weak type of animal almost, like a human. When we continually hide things, how we truly feel and what we really want, okay, our true desires and heartfelt wantings, when we suppress and don't let out and express our feelings, be it love and affection or frustration and sadness and like vulnerability, when we suppress our vulnerability of how we truly feel, like let's say we're having a hard time and we're sad or we're upset or we're like frustrated, let's say we're finding it hard to cope and we try to be all strong, this is like faking it and it's not letting the valve of our energies truly flow and to share with another person and when we share with another person that in itself is a form of therapy. The expression and the flow is self-therapy. So like suppressing is self-hurt, self-damage. It becomes, so a little bit of unbalance is easier to fix because it's like a little bit of imbalance. You can, it takes a little bit of work to balance it again. But when we do long-term suppression and faking it and trying to people's please or trying to pretend to be a certain way that we're not, that builds up, uh, uh, the blockage builds up like water's flow and you have a dam, you're building up a great deal of like water pressure or pressure in our energetical system, our emotional system and our psychic, psychological mental system too. There's a lot of like pressure building and eventually it'll all come out of course, but in the meantime before it comes out, there's going to be a lot of like trouble and like disconnection and hardship caused for yourself and other people too. So. You affect yourself primarily when you suppress and deny and avoid and hide, okay? And then, of course, then you're obviously going to be affecting those people closely around you in your life. At the end of the day, fear is a very big factor in our life. And there's the, a book called The Course in Miracles, which some of you may have heard of. And they say, basically, and it's not the only book that says this, but like fear and love are like, fear is the opposite of love or like they're the kind of opposite spectrums. Like fear I feel is one of the biggest causes of blockage in our life which stops us from following our dreams and our heart and gets causes a lot of trouble. Like there's so many things we're afraid of, like so many. So ask yourself if you want to like get like like a practical thing to do, like an application from this video, ask yourself regularly in life like am I being honest with myself and other people? And ask yourself, like, what am I afraid of? Or you could ask yourself, like, what am I, what am I afraid of that's stopping me from having what I truly want in life, in any area? So, oh, we're all just afraid. Often we don't think we're like deserving of things too, which is a very, very big influence or factor. And that comes from our past, of course. But yeah, that's sort of more or less what I really want to say. Uh, we have to know we're entitled to have emotions and feel a certain way and that's okay, like we're all human beings and it's okay to be vulnerable and to, exp and to be sensitive and to share the fact that we are a sensitive, vulnerable, fearful person at times and there's nothing wrong with that. It's okay to be vulnerable, it's okay to have weaknesses, flaws, to not live up to the way 
people see you or you try and present yourself. That actually helps you, when you do that, it actually helps you to connect more with people. So you're not trying to pretend to be perfect or have it all together. You're like letting people know like you struggle and you have hardships and things are difficult for you too. And when you actually share your true feelings and true desires, like your true wants or wishes also, you have a much better chance of getting the things when you share what you want. Because you don't share what you really want with someone, how are they supposed to know what you really want? <laughs> so, but when you share the vulnerable, sensitive, emotional side, as a man or as a woman, you really give someone else a chance to connect with you and to like help you and to be loving to you or to listen to you. If they're a pretty decent like level that they're able to, obviously if they're like a psychopath or a, like a sociopath or have like so deep problems or they're very abusive, if you open yourself up, then they're gonna they, these type of people could maybe like crush you or hurt you. But generally speaking, most people are definitely not like psychopaths or like crazy lunatics who go try and hurt people. But for the the average person, for sure, like being vulnerable and open even if they don't react good at the moment which usually they will react if you're like being very open to them they'll usually open up to you quite often but even if they don't which is like a more rarer like worse way then they're probably gonna like think about what you said being vulnerable and consider your feelings much more and your life and your position so overall I think my favorite quotation is definitely the truth shall set you free set you free and it'll help set your relationships free it'll set your emotions free it'll set your your energy free you can be happy and in peace and the second favorite quotation is knowledge is power but it's not false knowledge is power it's like truthful knowledge real not like truthful knowledge is power so that's related to the truth shall set you free so education as my best friend Minda like who's recording <laughs> He does this to me too. Thank you, Minda, for recording. Love you. He loves, like, education, like, helps stop violence, like, because education is really important to be empowered and to learn important information about, like, where your food comes from, where the effects of your actions, just environmental knowledge about, like, what's causing damage in the world, and when you learn stuff, then you can make better choices, so... The truth shall set you free and knowledge is power. And this video is a form of knowledge for you now, okay? This helps, this will help give you empowerment in your life. As well as like hundreds of other videos and books and people and experiences will help to bring you a better life and better knowledge and power. So, um, my third favorite quotation is probably, it's better to do the right thing than to be right. Because most arguments and problems in life are caused by trying to be right or making another person wrong. So if you step out of that like mind frame and try and do the right thing, you can step more into your heart. There's another quotation which I love, the biggest journey in life is from your mind to your heart. <laughs> That's a good one, isn't it? The, the longest or hardest journey, your bi longest, biggest journey in life is from your mind, to your head, to your heart. So that's another interesting quotation. So anyway, that's all everybody, I'm finished this video I suppose. and. Uh, Hope you enjoyed the surroundings. I hope you appreciate my friend holding the camera for so long. Hope you enjoyed my words and our intentions together to like just do something positive for the world. And I encourage you to do something positive for the world. From picking up a piece of litter, walking a neighbor's dog, feeding an, a, a cat or an animal or a homeless person, or just being nicer and opening up to one of the humans in your life. That's all I really want to say. So, thanks for all your love and support. And if you want any one-to-one -one work with me, help heal and empower or any herbs or superfoods or like physical things to help heal strengthen and empower also check out my links below you can see my websites um, ownfox.org and higherselfherbs.com and otherwise if you like the video give it a like and feel free to do share with your friends and family to help them too I appreciate that and thanks for supporting my channel otherwise have a lovely day and I'll see you again another time hopefully thank you video. see you now. Thank you. Thank you, Minda. Lots of love. <laughs> nice place, eh? <laughs> Minda, do you want to say anything? This isn't... No, it's okay. You okay? Yeah. Do you want to be in the video? Have to be in the video. <laughs> uh, too late.
<laughs> <It's> okay. <laughs> Maybe because it's just the last piece. Now start, where is the start or pause? Do I need to do this no, sometimes? No, already recording. You'll cut, yeah? Yeah, let me think what I'm going to talk about. Maybe... Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you.